Welcome to Attention Deficit, where we turn uncorrelated events into irrelevant information, a place where completely unrelated, unconnected subject points somehow become more irrelevant. A hearts on fire diamond is the world's most perfectly cut diamond. A perfect cut means it sparkles more than any diamond in the world. Its brilliance ignites something special in everyone who wears it. It ignites the next chapter of your life. People that have something to prove that aren't police officers and lawyers are wickety wickety whack. You know, okay, wait, let me elaborate. You know those chickies that have to prove that they don't need anyone? That they're independent women with full-time jobs? We get it, you're not a prostitute. No one's paying to get to your cooch. If anything, you're doing the paying because all you need is our lower extremities. In other words, our penis, our penis not our money. That's a whole mythology I've conjured up. You make more money and we still have to pay you to hang out. That's also a myth. I don't fuck women or men. I don't. I'm more of like a canine, canine guy. Canines, because I don't have money to hang out. To attention deficit. Intelligence means knowing the implications of what you're doing. Thinking critically is knowing how to reason and come to the right conclusion when given a set of facts. But you don't do shit though. Intelligence is the pursuit of information and leveraging that information in the application of sometimes a sequential ordering of steps to helping conduct a process to meet your material well-being. Intelligence means knowing that everything is an effect of a set of causes and that nothing is inconsequential. But you don't do shit though. The way you speak, the way you talk, the way- Wait, but you don't do shit- I got bitches everywhere. In the laundry mat, down the street, across the city, in different towns, and shit. She's right there, look at that. Bitch. What you eat, how you eat, how you- Speak, the way you talk, the way you dress. I got bitches everywhere, in the laundry mat. What you eat, how you eat, how you sit. How you stand, your posture. All these things are affecting your experience and that takes a rational person to know that how you sit, stand, speak, and talk is changing the way you experience the world. In a sense, it's influencing your mood. Your thoughts and how you feel. The city of Escobar, who's Elgin? I've been here since June. I can't feel that somebody can't see a sun. Your aim is to see the scope, the rattling key chime. I buried the crime in the section, the wagon, the station, the cabal, the witness, the face, and the patient, the vet, every tea, the needle injection, and freedom of senses. A part of offenses, no part in offenses. I got no defenses, a ton of arrests in a statement. It's full of the end with a nuts of box, and the leave in a box, and send it to your tip against it. Plead down for the people, be man. I want peace, so I'm peace, and I might only just to be free. Was a threat to a lord, a threat to a cord, a word with a concrete, commonly commented about becoming a common man. Arch with a Banksy, no St. Jerome, no sense of direction. I enter the hearse like I'm not the worst, best thing.